38 and we're taking a live look now over Johnson Space Center this morning. Right now, flight controllers are tracking the return of two astronauts who spent nearly 10 months on board the International Space Station. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman joins us live this morning from the Johnson Space Center. Mark, now when are those astronauts expected to splash down and what happens after they make it back to Earth? Hey, Ron and Rankin, good morning. Good, good to talk to you. Uh, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, of course, their saga has, is so well known now to most people. They're arguably the most famous uh, astronauts America has. They're going to splash down a couple of minutes before f 5 o'clock uh, this evening, local time. Uh, and then a helicopter is going to pluck them out of the water, take them to uh, a, a base in the Florida Panhandle, and then they will fly by NASA jet uh, here back to Houston to finally be reunited. Uh, with their families. I mean, after all, it's been almost 10 months. I mean, they went up for eight days. It's kind of a, a long business trip by any, by any standards, especially when nobody expected it to last that long. And anyway, got to imagine that their families are just super excited to get them back. Yeah, Mark, uh, Butch and Sonny seemed at least pretty positive during the experience. Did they share any final messages, though, before they left the space station? They actually didn't. Uh, the, another astronaut named uh, Nick Haig, uh, who's a familiar name and face to a lot of uh, folks who follow space, uh, just had some final thoughts as the capsule pulled away uh, from the space station. Uh, but, of course, uh, Butch and Sonny have been very firm all the way uh, along about uh, this extended stay. That is, they think it's a privilege. They've enjoyed their time on the ISS. This is what you know all astronauts live for. And so for all the talk that they've been stuck in space or abandoned in space, they have not felt that way uh, throughout uh, these nine months. Now, their families may have felt differently about it, but the astronauts themselves, they believe that their time in space was, was a pleasure and a privilege. And uh, I'm sure if you ask them again, they would want to go back. Yeah, absolutely. But a lot of folks will be very happy to see them back here on Earth. Mark Strassman, live at the Johnson Space Center. Thank you so much. Hey, Cheetah is yes. the